So, Ted, we all make mistakes. Let's be honest. We're human beings. Uh, but uh, sometimes, in fact, we have a question that came in. How do I respond to my spouse's sometimes silly mistakes? What comes to mind when you hear that question? We were just on vacation and I'm watching this young couple come up off the beach and they have two little kids. They've got sand all over them. They've got sand all over the kids. And the husband takes the beach bag and he sets it up on this fence. And about half a second after he sets the bag on the fence, it comes tumbling down. And I wasn't close enough to hear what this woman was saying, but she was saying some stuff. Like she, I was hearing some of it. Uh, but she was not happy and she's just kind of going after him. And one of the things Nancy and I've tried to, to, we've decided to do over the years, and I always encourage couples to do this. When you have one of those moments, you have a decision to make. Am I going to make a deal over this or am I going to let this go? And ask yourself the question, would I want to be married to me during those times? Because those mistakes are going to happen all the time. Uh, and what's so ironic about that is that the lady had put her bag up on, up on the, uh, the fence and a total stranger would have accidentally knocked it off. She would probably have been like, oh, it's OK. It doesn't matter. You know, and yet we're giving grace to somebody we will never see again. And I'm watching what are those things? And I think when if we could have a lens through how would I want to be treated in this situation? How would I want my spouse to respond to my silly mistakes? I think it would wipe out a lot of the tension that happens throughout the day. And it would leave so much more energy to talk about those things that matter. I mean, I think if our spouse is going to know a life of grace, it's going to be because we decide intentionally to give that to them. I have ADHD off the charts. I was ADHD long before it was cool to me. I lose my keys all the time. I lose my wallet all the time. I got out of my car and just didn't put it in park and it come out and it stuck to the garage because I was in a hurry. And so my wife has given me this unbelievable gift of just going, it's okay. It's okay. And she would say, but you're so sweet to me. So it's okay. So, but she could get so frustrated. I'm so frustrated with those things. I mean, typically our spouse is already frustrated with themselves. They don't need us to, to tag on. But I just think it's these opportunities that mistakes are these opportunities to show unconditional love and that, that I love you and these things don't matter. We have a saying in our house is we know tragedy and this isn't it. Like we've, we've had big hurtful things happen in our lives. We know tragedy and this isn't it. Dropping the beach bag, that's not a tragedy. Like let it, let it go. And when we do, it just, I don't know, it frees up room for all the other good stuff. That's so good because there are going to be those mistakes. Man, I wish I could rewind time early on in my marriage because I did not get that concept Right. in my spirit. And I was so critical. I can think back on things. I just think, why, why would I say that? Right. Yeah. And I've learned it. And in fact, the hallmark in our married life together on a mistake was, it was a big one. Leslie had, uh, I won't tell the whole story, but bottom line is she pulled out of the garage with the passenger door, door in the back of our, our Jeep Cherokee open because she had taken a baby out and forgot to close it and pulled out and the whole door ripped off. And the, the, <laughs> the door of the garage fell apart. It felt like the whole house was shaking. <laughs> and in that moment, I somehow, it didn't even occur to me to get mad. It was mm. just like, I can't imagine how you must feel right now. Mm. And she always looks back to that as one of the biggest grace gifts that <laughs> she's ever received on, uh, in the marriage front. But uh, it, it is always a gift, isn't it? Grace is a gift. It is a gift. And it was when we first got married, we got this new little car and she backs out of the garage. Same thing, knocks the mirror off. She comes back in and she's all frustrated. I'm like, babe, it's a car. It doesn't matter. And it was a different reaction that she had grown up with. And she said, I've never been, fell more in love with you than in this moment. So she has given me many opportunities with vehicles to illustrate that love every year. We've knocked off the slider door of a minivan that was two weeks old. We have run into many a person the carpool line. So she keeps giving me that gift. So, but I, it's, let's let it go. Just let it go. Uh, I'm reminded uh, as we wrap this up of the book, Severe Mercy, when they bought a new MG car as a love story and they just took a hammer to the hood, brand new car, took a hammer to the hood, said this, this car will never be more important in our relationship. 
and just put a big dent in it right away as, as a symbol. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's it. That's Not it. my style, but maybe for them. Ted, right. thanks so much. Thank you.